Hi, this is Ellen. I'm going to show you how to make the elongated checkerboard bracelet on one loom length. Okay, you have to have at least two looms to make this um, in the first place so you can get the width. Um, but I guess my when I originally showed you on my other video, I mean you'd have to have four looms um, to get that bracelet and I guess a lot of people I know don't have four looms and I understand that so I'm going to show you how to make this on one loom length but it's still five pins wide so you still have to have two looms um, so I'll show you how to make this to put that here and where we're gonna start is you have to have the even pin bars even and we're going to start by adding our perimeter bands and we're gonna do that um, by starting here in the corner and going up the entire side of this loom. And when you get to the top, we're going to go over. And we'll go back to the beginning here, and we'll go all the way up the side. Put an end cap right there. Alright, so that's what you should have now. By your red arrows, you shouldn't have any rubber bands on the perimeter down here. And then just rubber bands up both sides and then over on the bottom here. And now for my ease, I'm going to turn my loom around now before I put on the middle bands. Um, it just makes it easier for me to think as I'm doing it. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to lay the bands on the bottom here. Um, you don't have to. If you watched my original checkerboard bracelet video, you will saw that I could pull the bands open, drop the, get the bands down in there, and pull them out the way I needed to. Um, I guess it's just a preference on how you want to do it or whatever's easiest for you. But I'm just going to skip a row and drop three bands. Um, if you only want to do a double band, that's fine too. I think it looks pretty good that way still. Um, single band probably wouldn't hold the shape as well. Okay, now what we need to do is make the bands that are going to go down lengthwise of the loom. And to do that, um, because I'm using triple banding in my loom, I need to make a group or six groups of three rubber bands tied together. And how I do that is I stretch it out around my fingers like this, grab my other three bands, pinch it, and then pop those off into the center of the band. I get my thumb in here, get these together a little more, and I want to grab, stick my finger up through there, pull it towards me while I let go with my thumb, and it makes a knot. And then we're just going to do that again. Get three rubber bands, Stretch them over your fingers, grab in the middle of these bands, stretch it out, 
It's easy if you hold on to the knot so it doesn't slip. Get them into the center. Get my thumb there to hold it. Stick my finger up through the bands. Pull back while I let go of my thumb. Just like that. So I have three groups of three rubber bands right now. So I need to have six groups. Like if you were gonna just wanted to make this bracelet with a loom, you'd only have this is where you'd stop. But if you want to be able to extend it, we're gonna do the whole strand at once. And it's alright if the bands are a little twisted up because they get stretched out pretty tight that you can't really notice. I mean, you can try to make them a little better than this, but um, it doesn't matter a whole lot in the end. Okay, now you'll need three strands just like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six sets of three rubber bands knotted together. Now I say three because I'm triple banding, but if you're double banding, then it'll just be two bands tied together. So we need three strands just like that. And what we're gonna do is go back to our loom and take one of these strands, find the center, and put it on the center pin right here. Like that. And you're going to stretch it up, your loom, and you want to get, so we have one, two, three, so you want to get this knot on the end, on the other side of your loom here. So it's like this. So I still have three groups hanging off the end. So I'm going to turn and twist this one a little bit. That's better. And you can just put it on each side, kind of divide it a little bit. Doesn't really matter where the knots go. I just want to get it on the loom so it's secure on there. So here's what we have. Three rubber bands hanging off the end and the rest of it just kind of pulled onto the loom. Now what you're going to do is lay some cross colors. So again I'm triple banding so it's three for me. And so every set across that doesn't have the band and laying in the bottom, you're going to go over the top here. And these are kind of snug, so I might have a little trouble looming, but we'll see. Alright, so that's what you should have now. Band going up, bands across, and then bands laying in the bottom. Now you're going to go back and take your other strands that you made. Put on the bottom here. And again, you're going to find that third knot. And you're going to pull it up your loom so it's past the end of it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again. So find your center, put that down here, and one, two, there's my third knot. And 
somewhere. And pull this all the way up. There. So just like that. And you can see I probably could use a couple more blue pegs on my base here because I am starting to come in a little bit on my pegs, but I just, I think these rubber bands are a little too tight. Alright, now we're going to go back to our rubber bands we dropped in the bottom. I'm going to grab those with your hook and just pull them up and over. If you need to, move this one out of the way. Let's go to the next one. So that's what you should have now. Your three rubber bands hanging off. Everything else should be loomed. Now, I'm going to go back to the beginning here, and we are going to start the looming of the bands. Alright, so start in this corner where your end cap is. So make sure your loom's turned around now. And I'm going to grab the top band, which is going to go up like that. So pull in through here, grab the bottom band and pull it up. Do that all the way up this side of the loom. And just stop when you get to the end there. Go back to the beginning and we'll grab the bottom bands again. And just pull them over. Yeah. And then we're going to go up this side. So that's what it should be now. We've got the bottom, and then loomed up the sides, and your th still your three hanging off here. Now we need to find um, put C clips, or um, because you'll have an extra pin bar from your looms, you can pop them on here. Um, it's whatever you prefer. I think I'm just going to do C clips to make it a little easier for me, or actually more like um, O-clips, because they're big. These came with some of the bracelet loops that I had bought, so they're, they're a little easier to get off than the C-clips. So I'm going to put one here and one here. So now we have the ends secure here. So I'm actually going to start at the other end of the bracelet, taking it off, just because 
I think it'll be a little bit easier. So here's what I have. It's kind of a mess right now. You should have two bands that will fall back, one that will fall forward, and then this one will be nice and loose. So what we need to do now is you need to reloom your bracelet. And this time, what we're going to do is, is put black bands along the bottom here and then up both sides. So again, double banding. And leave. Don't put anything up here. Come back and do this side. Alright. So that's what you should have now. Your red arrow is down here, by the way. But now we're going to turn them around. And we need to reattach our band from before. And I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to just try and stretch out this extra band over your loops. To so start there first, because we only can swing. And you want to find your black or your perimeter bands. those on your hook in the center and put them on this side. Like that. And just keep these other ones tucked out of the way for now. We'll deal with those in a little bit. Now the same thing over here. Get your hook through the center of those. And you stretch them over here. Because I took the blue band and I put it on first, what happens then is that it's technically not in the center of these two. It's not a huge deal, but if you want to fix it, you can. You're going to need to get your hook back on, hold on to each side, pull that band up, and then you need to get your black band on first or your perimeter band, and then put your middle band, and then put the other half of your perimeter band on. So I mean, I guess, since I did it on one side, I'll do it on the other, but just pull those up. Pull that up. 
Get that one on your hook. And just slide that black band down to the bottom and then your middle band on top. And then take the other half of your perimeter band and pull that over. I want you to take this long band on this side and it's going under. So I just want you to kind of pull it up and over so we can see it. And the same thing with the other side. that's going under the blue band as well and this is going on top okay so what we're gonna do is my blue bands before were under and we're gonna follow that same pattern so you skip a row and drop your bands down So look just like that. And then what you're going to do is come back to the beginning here. Find the center of be your center long strand. And find the center of these rubber bands up here. And pull this all the way to the end. And hook it on. And just spread the rubber band down onto the pegs. And if you'll notice, I put the knot right here again on the other side of the pegs and then just stretched it out between the other end. It's not going to be even because it's not an even number of rows in here, so um, just stretch it out between there. It doesn't matter where you put it necessarily. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay our cross bands. So we got blue, or in my case, this would be an underband. So the next row is R over. And I'm going to do that up on every spot that doesn't have bands laying in the bottom. go back to the beginning to our other bands here and just pick a side find the center of your end stretch it out all the way down to the end of the loom and again spread those out I can't necessarily get the knot on the other side of here um, because, I mean, you could if you wanted to take it off, take the blue band off or slide these up over this peg, um, but that'll still be fine in the end for the bracelet on how it goes. But do that for the other side. we should have now. We have all of our long bands on and we have our every other bands on. Now we're just going to go back in here again and grab the bottom bands that we put in there. Pull them up and over. just like that. Alright, so 
now all the bands are on the loom. Um, you can take off your C-clips or whatever you use down here. Or if you prefer, you can leave them on until you take it off the loom to make sure that everything is captured the way it should be. I'm going to take mine off and live dangerously and hope that I'm correct. I mean, if not, you'd never see it anyways, because I would <laughs> I'd do it again. Alright. So that's what it should be like now. Now we are just going to loom up sides. And looks like start over here. Just grab that bottom band and loom all the way up. We didn't have any end caps because this is acting as an end cap for us. We don't have to do that. to do over here to come back and do the bottom bands. Just gonna put a clip on the end here. And we'll take this off our loom now. Um, you might as well start at this end if you want. That's where I'm gonna start, but you certainly don't have to. So we'll know right away if I was right. And it was. So there's what it looks like. Um, you can see I need to do a little finagling with some of the bands. Like here it looks like I placed it on the wrong side, but really if you go underneath of it and pull up the perimeter band, you'll see that it's fine now. So let's give it a good couple of stretches, um, spread out that middle band or the long bands that you put on to get those where they need to go. But that is how you make this bracelet on one loom length but two looms. Alright, so I hope that worked for you. I hope you were able to follow it and hopefully I'll have more tutorials before you know it. Thanks.